Hi, Stuart. Great session again in the week. I uh, just thought I'd give you this feedback via YouTube to sort of take a look at the changes we made in this previous session. Um, initially, prior to this session, we were trying to maintain the right tilt through the hip, trying to improve your inclination to the ground. You can see on the far left, it is better than it was at the start of your session, but there's still that tendency to come up a little bit too fast. As your extension happens at too high a rate, The head comes up and off the wall and we hit out at the golf ball excessively as can be seen by a very high exit and quite a high rate of closure on the club face. So the first thing we did was we talked about how things need to happen at a certain rate and we started to use your inclination to the ground to allow you to sort of maybe feel different things. So I've got the club across the forehead and the goal here is to try and just keep the club or keep the head against the shaft throughout the hit and you can see that it starts to calm down the rate at which you extend so if you think in terms of you know what we're doing through the hit we should be turning at a certain rate sliding at a certain rate and extending at a certain rate and if one of those pieces is done at too high a rate we'll start to see things like we see on the far left which is a higher exit a higher rate of closure in your case with it being the extension so you can see as we put the club across the forehead it's discouraging such a high rate of extension and then as a result that's encouraging a little bit lower exit a little bit softer club face and we start to see a slight change in the ball flight that's all well and good but obviously it gets expensive if you've got to pay someone to wander around with you and put a shaft across your head every time you hit a ball so what we talked about then was using this exercise where we've got the ball well forward in the grid we talked about sort of standard ball position and if the ball's in its normal ball position with a mid iron we'd be hitting down and out so we'd be hitting from the inside because we're hitting on the back side of the circle so what we've done here is we've positioned the golf ball approximately four balls forward of its normal position so it's forward in the grid which means we're now hitting the ball past the point of tangency the lowest point of the arc which means we're now hitting it on the front side of the circle when you're doing this exercise all you want to do is see the ball pull or cut and this encourages you to get back into flexion and extend much slower with the ball in that position if you were to extend at too high a rate you bottom out behind the ball every single time so all this drill is doing is allowing you to feel what it's like to perform on the other side of the spectrum if you will so if we just take these three swings back to impact particularly the two end swings where we want to have the focus on this and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one back sort of at its normal position so it's just prior to impact just so we can keep the swings matched up with the ball forward in the grid we see that the butt of the club works across and behind you quicker it's also working lower through impact and these are all things that you need to add to the swing on the far left so on the far left the butt of the club raises too much we hit out excessively at it and the head comes up and off the wall at a greater rate so the move on the right is encouraging you to stay down through the hip do we expect you to play golf that way definitely not is it a good move or is it a good drill to feel the differences that you need to encourage or that you need to train yourself to do 100% because if you don't know what they feel like you can't implement them when you're out on the golf course you know at this moment in time you could pretty much just hit balls like you see on the right hand side and then go play golf and what you're going to end up with the more work you do with the swing on the right you end up with a diluted version of a swing that you see on the left so you're trying to move that swing on the left more towards the swing on the right great drill task driven exercise hit some pulls hit some cuts start learning to move the low point forward start learning to push up out the ground at a lesser rate